holding pictures of their loved ones, relatives of the victims of extrajudicial killings streamed into this hearing in the northeast region of Catatumbo where 10 former military members, among them a general, admitted to committing war crimes and asked for forgiveness. I killed family members of people who are here. I misled them and cruelly and cowardly assassinated them, pretending they were rebels, tarnishing their name, leaving children without fathers, mothers without children. I know you won't forgive me, but I hope this will avoid this happening again. The military is supposed to protect farmers. They trusted us and we lied to them and killed them. Facing each other, victims and perpetrators detailed the killing of over a hundred civilians falsely portrayed as rebels killed in combat. The court determined that 6,402 people were murdered this way between 2002 and 2008 in a scandal known as false positives. The goal was to boost death statistics and justify U.S. military aid. The soldiers involved were rewarded with promotions and time off. The requirement was to produce casualties in combat no matter what. This according to the policies of the army commander, a demand repeated in different echelons of command. Officers explained how they planned the killings, making lists of vulnerable farmers, disabled people and youth. They said they conspired with paramilitary groups that offered them weapons and uniforms to disguise the killings. Many victims are wondering why there has been so much impunity. Why did we have to make a public scandal for 14 years to reach this point? What would have happened if we had given up? Did we need another 6,402 victims? The court that you see behind me is also investigating the military high command that has always denied that the killings were part of a systematic policy, but a number of officials have said that they were under pressure to inflate the success of their military operations. These weren't isolated events, nor bad apples responsible for the killings. This is the result of failed state policies. And this is what the judiciary hasn't determined yet. But despite the trial's limitation, the fact that the soldiers are admitting that they committed war crimes is unprecedented and an important step in overcoming one of the darkest chapters of Colombia's long civil conflict. Alessandro Ampietti, Al Jazeera, Bogotá.